across the country are turning their attention to helping the victims of this shooting and their families. Thousands of dollars have already been raised, but not everybody has good intentions. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is at the Antioch Waffle House where people are still remembering those lives lost. Emily. Well, that's right. Employees have placed flowers by the front mat of the restaurant. And also, as you can see here behind me, four crosses have been put up with the names of the four victims. Now, others are honoring the victims by donating money to GoFundMe accounts. Many of these accounts were started by people who genuinely want to help, but donors are still being urged to be cautious of people trying to benefit from this tragedy. It just all just hit me at once. It's just instinct. I just got to do something. When Sandra Lynn heard about a shooting at an Antioch Waffle House that left four people dead and several injured, she responded by setting up a GoFundMe account to help the hero of the day, James Shaw Jr. I can't think of a better way to say thank you to him and uh, show appreciation. After sharing the account on Twitter, thousands of dollars in donations poured in from across the country. I think the kindness and the human spirit that is really coming through is just it's just blowing me away. Immediately after the shooting, Shaw set up his own GoFundMe account to help the victims. So the GoFundMe is is mainly set up for the deceased, um, but that's not to say we're not going to help the two victims or if there are more victims um, to have medical expenses if they can't pay for it. His account has raised over one hundred thousand dollars. Another account to create a college fund for Shaw's four year old daughter has also raised over one hundred thousand dollars. But with multiple GoFundMe accounts active, some potential donors are wondering if some of the accounts are fake. Some even posted their concerns on Sandra's page. It is not um, a scam. I am a real person with a real heart and wanting to do something really special for this young man. A spokesperson for GoFundMe says they are monitoring all of the campaigns and guarantee money raised will be transferred to the right person. Sandra hopes that generosity will continue and the victims won't be forgotten. And here are some things you can do to verify an account before donating. Steer clear of pages with minimal information. Also, check the campaign manager's social media presence. Scammers often make fake profile pages right before they make fake campaigns. And you can always reach out and contact the organizer directly with any questions. We have more information on NewsChannel5.com. Reporting live in Antioch, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.